So I like flounder for this recipe. And the reason that I do is because it's a nice, mild, flat fish that's great for stuffing. And again, remember, it's five ingredients. Are you counting? Fish is one. So, but what is number two, three, four, and five? Well, let me start with the next thing. You admire that because I'm going to put a little butter in a saute pan. And this is ginger. Now, isn't that a beautiful bunch of ginger? I don't even peel it. I just use my microplane because the paper will stay behind. So there is our ginger in the pan. So there's some fresh spinach. And all we did was cook the spinach down, take all the water out of it, and squeezed it really, really dry, just like that. And here we have grated carrot. So I'm gonna put the grated carrot in now. So the grated carrot can go in with the butter. And it's grated because we're gonna use this as part of the filling for the fish. And if you get all the water out of it, you see how nice and dry it is. So give it a quick chop. So spinach and carrot go in. And a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. So now, let's move that around. You may want to add a little bit more butter to this. It does look a little bit dry, but this is it, folks. Here we have our spinach, we have our carrot, and all that we need now is to get that really well combined. Now, you want to let this cool down a bit before you put it on the fish because, of course, it's a little hot to handle. So here we have fillets, beautiful, four beautiful fillets. We can start filling or spreading the mixture on the fish. So you just spread it out thinly. You don't want to do too much on each one because then it will be too hard for you to roll because you're going to roll this up like a jelly roll. So spread it out so it's even on the fish. And this is really a very healthy way and a very quick way to have a nice first course, uh, second course rather, because our gnocchi are our first course. This is really a nice light, light meal. Then, you get out another beautiful casserole, and you simply go from the short end, rolling those up. Now, if you want to use a toothpick, you can do that, but you don't really need it. Roll them up. The filling stays where it should. And this isn't going to take long to cook at all because flounder is a very thin fish, number one, and it cooks very quickly. So there is our fourth one. Then the last thing we need is a little bit more melted butter over the top. Mm -hmm.